Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Today we're looking at problem number 9.3 from the great Python book. And it is to it is the problem that of sele select geometric figures. The basic idea is that you're supposed to use Tkinter canvas to draw figures, um, particularly a rectangle and oval and the idea and the user selects between the two of them. They use a radio button and they select between a rectangle and an oval. And then the the image appears on the screen. And you're also supposed to add a um, a fill option to it. So I mean, the idea is pretty pretty simple, but basically you have to outline what we're going to do, um, you have you create a Tkinter um, window. So this here is our Tk our, our window here, our Tk object. Okay, and this we'll call window. So window uh, equals to the Tk object. Okay, and then on this object, we're going to um, we're going to create a canvas. So I'll draw it like this. Maybe my canvas is like this guy. Okay, and this guy is a canvas. So um, this guy here. Maybe I'll do it over here. Um, this is a canvas, okay, and um, uh, wait a minute, um, maybe I made a little bit of a tad bit of a mistake here. Let me just um, do a little bit of fixing here. Um, you'll see in a minute why uh yeah like this instead like this so this is my canvas um and then below my canvas this is kind of why i, I wanted to raise that i'm gonna have some buttons there which um i have let me see so they're radio buttons here so they're not um erase that so they're radio buttons um so this guy here um, and this guy here, and then I'm going to have another one over here, which is a check box. And in particular, then this is a, oops, okay. This here is, um, is rectangle, rectangle. And of course, the next one's oval. I won't bother with that one. But the final one then is um, whoops, is filled. Okay. And in particular, then these guys are radio buttons. So these over here are radio buttons. Radio button. And um, this one over here uh, is a, what did he call it? A check button, I believe is the term for it. Um, let me just take a look here. Um, yeah, it's called a check button. So this one's called a check button. And these are the, the methods or the, um, the, the, uh, the, 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 objects that you're creating so each one of these are uh, are objects that we're creating um they're instances of the class i guess so each one of these are instances of a class and then if i check um if for instance i check the rectangle so i say okay i want a rectangle um then on the screen I'm going to get a rectangle here. 
and this is pretty you know pretty simple um and then if perchance i say well i want i want this rectangle to be filled so somebody checks to fill or uh checks to fill then you know this rectangle gets filled in like like so so it's it's pretty basic um but this is this is what we're trying to draw this is what we're trying to create so um Again, I have, uh, because this is a little bit involved, instead of uh, doing this live, I'm going to actually, I, I've already pre-written the code. I'm just going to walk you through the code written, and then I'll show it work. Uh, it's just too much, too kind, time consuming to try and do this live, basically. And there's too much chance for mistake, which could end up taking much more time than one wants. Okay, so the very first thing, of course, is I always uh, import to Kinter, and um, this is the way I do it on this on this machine. I just use to Kinter import star um, or from to Kinter. Okay, and now what I do, what I'm going to do again is create a class um, called figure select. And um, and then and then when I when I run when I run the when I run the program, um, I create an instance of this class. Um, and so the, the the whenever you're doing classes, the very first thing you 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 init, you you use you initialize the object. And of course, I'm just creating my window, which is an instance of a a TK object, and I'm giving it a name. Um, and then right here, I create the canvas. So it's a the I I want to um, I'm going to be changing this canvas as I go along. So in this case, I I make it a self uh, dot canvas, and uh, so I've made it about 300 by 100, and then the important thing is to remember to use to use the packet so you put it onto the screen because if you don't do this, nothing will happen. So you always have to remember to use uh, your geometry manager to um, uh, nail it down to your window. And in this case, of course, the window I'm putting it on is the um the or the um yeah so so it's master is just window um okay uh and then i created a second frame here now notice uh in particular that this frame object is not um that i didn't use the um how would i say that I didn't use the self dot frame in this case because I'm not actually going to be uh, carrying this guy through to any of my functions or anything. So I, to my methods, so I don't actually need to to use this as a um, oh boy, I can't remember what the term is for it. I'm sorry, I'm forgetting offhand what the term is. I apologize um there there's a term there there's a term for if you compare this state this statement here which is a self dot canvas to this guy here which is just a frame um there there's a div, there's a there's a term for that and I, I can't remember exactly what it is i do apologize um the next step here is i just created these two variables and they're 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 in variables and they're they're going to handle the um the value the values created by the radio buttons uh and the check buttons um yeah okay so uh the next step then is to create the two radio buttons and again now this is on the frame this is on the frame, um, the the frame um, 
the frame master I'm forgetting what that term is I am sorry I'm just forgetting what it is and importantly so this guy uh, this radio button has a variable uh, property and I'm setting the variable to be equal to th this guy the process radio button and his value is zero if this one's chosen so and the value is one if this value is if this one's chosen so that will tell me then that if this one's if the first one's cha chosen so the ret you choose a rectangle the value zero so then when i go down um to my display figure uh i can just go if uh the the process radio button is zero then i do one thing and if it's one i do the other in particular you have to remember to use a get method here because the um the 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 value is uh, um is hidden so you have to use a uh the get method it's a hidden da data field um okay so we determine a value for each of them and we do the check button and i added this little option you know this clear option which basically what it does is it just clears the canvas and so whenever you push that you're just going to clear the canvas and that's just through the canvas.delete uh, method um finally i i put i i pin them to the 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 frame using the grid uh, geometry manager and with all that being said then i'm sort of you know um tripping my way through this but basically what we see in the end when we actually run it is indeed what we want um yeah uh so uh we'll start with the rectangle um of course in this case it's on it's it's empty but let's just clear it and go filled and oval so now you'll get an oval uh notice that when i when i click the rectangle uh, option what it does is it sends the 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 button so i click the button the rectangle button it's it defines the very this variable is given the value zero and then if we look down at the at the code then um i say okay the value is zero so um in this uh, in this case, the check filled is in fact checked, or the filled is checked. So then, it, then this is also this one's one. So then I get this guy here to happen. But then, of course, if I if I undo it and just pick the oval, in this case, the the variable here is going to be one. So it's an oval and the um yeah the the check button the check button is not is not clicked so that value is zero so that means i get i i get just the empty um the empty or the uh the oval that's unfilled if i check it well maybe i clear it and then I click it. Now, now the the button, now the um, the radio button has value one because it's an oval, and the filled variable has value one because it is it is clicked, and therefore um, it is this value. It it is this command that happens, and um, it's gives me a oval that is green and when you do that when you're when you're creating the images you just do create rectangle and create oval and of course you want to do that on the canvas so you have to pick what canvas you want it on okay um so i've kind of um tripped my way through this 
demonstration, but the you know the basic idea is you create um, you create the entire uh, you create the entire machine machinery, or um, I, I should say should say you create the the basic um, outline of what you want on top here. You know, you create the the canvas and the frame, or maybe I should say you create the scaffolding. That's the term I want. You create the scaffolding for the the app or for the for the GUI up here um, before the main loop. I put the the two the front the two frames and the 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 buttons up here. And then in my in my in my um, engine, as you will, I define what's going to happen when I hit a button, you know, and then then I do that down here. I, I create the the methods that are called when when I um, when any of those um, when any of these events occur. So they're called callback functions, if you will. Okay, uh, so again, these guys down here are called callback functions because they occur when I when I push the button or or you know push the radio button or whatever. Okay, uh, so that's it for today, folks. Thank you very much, and have a nice day.